wherever you are. This is our king of Nigeria, South Africa. His Royal Majesty, Ezendigbo, South Africa. Upi of Obindieze, Paramount King of Nigeria, King of Nigeria, South Africa. I want to ask Minister of uh, uh, Police, Sele, what is happening in, in, in South Africa. Minister of Police, Sele, what is happening in your country? I want to ask President Ramaphosa, what is happening in, your, in South Africa? I want to ask the government officials of South Africa what is happening in South Africa. Why, why do you people allow allow somebody called to nanny, to nanny, to nanny or to nanny, a criminal to be murdering Nigerians because in the name of he hates Nigerians? I'm asking you this question. Almost 15 to 20 Nigerians are in coma, in class door, protesting. This man are working with the police of class door and protesting and killing Nigerians. They will be beating Nigeria, beating Nigeria, beating Nigerians, men and women. Until you go to coma, until you die, they will tell you. Tunani, Tunani will tell you if you don't want to die, show us where Nigerians who are selling drugs they are living. Tunani and some police, some some criminal police, and some some of them are carrying drugs, moving around. Man calling himself the king of Nigeria has made a video condemning police minister Begitele for allowing Golani Kumalo of the Moja Labs hit show Sizo Utola and his crew of harassing Nigerians who sell illegal substances. Well, of course, Golani is now world famous for the work that he's been doing cleaning up the streets of the substances that are killing the youth, but he's very infamous in the criminal underworld. Now, one saw an episode of Sizogutola where one of the criminals was saying that we've been seeing Golani's name circulating all over our WhatsApp groups and we've been warned that if you see him, you need to run for your life. One Nigerian national commented and said the man is not a Nigerian king. He said they have over 250 ethnic groups in Nigeria, so he's not representing them. He is, however, representing the only tribe that has been caught selling substances and the show, which is the Igbo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, he said that they are his tribesmen and that's why he's representing them. Oksala, you know, fake king will intimidate our Golani. He needs to be protected at all costs. The job he's doing is greater than himself even. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on my next one.